Hi everyone and welcome along to today's video. This one, I've been asked about rubber seals, gaskets and joints. Often they perish and go and you have a job getting them. Someone said to me that uh, their trap rubber had gone where it seals to the sink. And even they went to local plumbers and tried online, he couldn't get that rubber ring. We're specifically talking about one of these. I mean, this is on a small trap. But it's this thing here. It's very hard to get these nowadays, get the right ones, and it is a bit of a problem um, because they'd sooner sell you anyway the whole thing than the rubber seal. Well, that's, that's all you probably need. So, what can you do about it? I mean, now it's worth going to a trusty old pound shop. They do a good lot of rubber seals that have a joint in there for a quid. I've used quite a lot of them, and they so do sometimes fit. Not all of them, but worth it for just to try and error thing. You can also get these kind of things in there, like these O-rings. I mean, they're not going to fit a trap, obviously, but they could fit various bits and pieces, especially like those little towels that go up into taps at the bottom, the mixer taps. Now, these particular ones at the bottom here fit lovely and they fit on and take the place if that little rubber wash is gone. If you've got a leak of water coming down from your tap, it's quite often one of these little rings that are gone. So again, a quid, you know, 50 pieces of salt blah blah. Worth a try before doing anything else. What else can we do though? So we're looking at this and this rubber's gone. So I'll get this trap here and this is what happens, take it down and you get this. The rubber ring is stuck to the bottom of the trap and you go to pull it off or the, the fitting I should say you pull it off and it all comes away in bits and pieces and it's perished okay, so what can you do well my friend told me that he tried PTFE tape around it and it, it wouldn't hold at all well <laughs> I'm not surprised it's PTFE got its uses but sometimes it won't do this job here well I use a very old fashioned tried and trusted method, method and that is to use our old friend Hemp here, this stuff. I don't even know if you can still get it, but the way I've always sealed these over the years is to pull a, a chunk away of hemp, like so, and a nice long string bit. String it together, twist it, like so, and link it together. And what I do then, especially as it's not for possible water, you can use the old fashioned boss wire on this. But what I do is I get this stuff here, what's white, get my finger in it, yeah I know it's a bit, ugh, but you know, it's not white. And then I'll put this down, this hemp string here. This so I bonds it together. Mickey and Gurky, I know. I'll just carry on with it all the way down to the bottom. It's a bit more at the top kind of bonds it together nicely. Now that we've got that, we can put this into that part of the ring there and just wind it in. So, and it goes, it's gooey and mucky, I know, I know. <laughs> Plumbing always is anyway. And uh, just wind that in there. Like so. Do we reach the end? The bit I, I pulled off the exact bit I know because I've done it so long, so many years, that I get the right amount every time. So, but it's generally about a 10 inch pull of stuff. And it's got a tiny bit of compound around it, just, just kind of hold it in place. If you do it without the compound, it won't stick nicely like a ring does like that. You can see that is really kind of stuck nicely onto that. You know it's not going to go anywhere. And that'll hold it. I've uh, never really had any failures with this when I do this. It tends to work. So the problem would be more maybe getting hold of this <laughs> old fashioned stuff from way back. But the works. But that's what I use when I haven't got an O-ring to fit a seal. Especially on waste systems because that's where they go. They, they wear off and go. And you've got seals all over the place on these things. There's another one in here. There's another one in here and it's worth a try. Okay, well that's it. Do try your old local camp shop first. They may have some things to say in old O-rings and stuff, sets that you can get that will be close enough maybe to get you over the hurdle. Anyway, that's about it though. All my stuff in the video, usual place, Derrick and 33. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.